In today's video, I'll be taking a look at Jeremiah 15 and how the exilic author credits Yahweh for the destruction of Jerusalem because of Manasseh and for Jerusalem forsaking Yahweh. And the second exilic uh, author reframes Jeremiah from a traitor to a bold prophet of Yahweh. If you'd like to learn more about Jeremiah as a traitor, be sure to check out my video on Jeremiah. All right, let's get into the text. So we're going to start off here. Uh, the exilic author is going to credit Yahweh uh, for the destruction of Jerusalem. He would appoint the four kinds of doom. He would bring the sword to slay, devour and destroy. Manasseh gets it blamed, and then Jerusalem itself gets blamed for forsaking Yahweh. And again, Yahweh would destroy them. He would destroy his people. And then we can get into this uh, about uh, killing the sons of mothers. And the second exilic author is going to play off of that, talking about Jeremiah's own mother and how Jeremiah was a man of strife and a man of contention in all the land. That's because he was a traitor. Everyone cursed uh, cursed him, again, because he was a traitor. But the exilic, exilic author is going to switch that from being a traitor to speak. It was because he was speaking uh, ha harsh words from Yahweh, and Yahweh would set him free. And then we get back into the first exilic author and how Yahweh gives booty without cost and how the Babylonians would take that booty to their own land. And then back to the second exilic author talking about Jeremiah's persecutors, uh, again, because he was a uh, traitor, enduring reproach for that same reason. But the author is going to change that. That was because of Yahweh. He spoke for Yahweh, uh, and he sat alone for Yahweh because of Yahweh. Uh, but in the end, Yahweh would deliver him from the hand of the wicked and would redeem him from the grasp of the violent. All right, uh, if you'd like to view the text, be sure to click the link below.